everyone in this session because number of viewers had uh, sent me this message ma'am why don't you prepare a video lecture on business analytics uh, or deep learning mm -hmm. or we can call it data science versus machine learning so on their request i had prepared this particular video uh, here in this video we would understand what is the difference between data science and machine learning what is what are the parts we are covering in data science what parts we are covering in machine learning so here is business analytics let me start this particular topic one by one we are going to cover up each and everything so here is business if we talk about business analytics business mm -hmm. analytics basically it is our discovery and communication mm -hmm. discovery and communication of meaningful pattern data let's say you had downloaded some data from we can say uh, there are the n number of sites are available let's say monetary this one is the money control right and there's the so many places where you can download your financial data but what is the utility of that particular data if until or unless we can analyze what is the meaning of this data whether this data is going towards the uh, good side or towards the bad side that is known as analytics like in our my youtube channel it is always reflecting complete analytics complete analytics means it is reflecting to me uh mm -hmm. how many people are those are watching my videos they belongs to which particular uh, age group they how many females how many males and as well as these people belongs to which particular geography whether they are from usa they are from germany they are from uh, they are from asian countries right and this is the how many percentage people are watching from mm -hmm. india how many percentage of people are watching from ethiopia how many people are watching from bangladesh and how many people are watching from europe right so this is properly defined that is analytics right so here is the same thing we are doing here when we talk about there are two terms data science versus machine learning data science basically it is a field that studies data and how to extract meaning from it while machine learning focuses on tools and techniques for building models that are learning by themselves by using data means you will decide what kind of data you have accordingly you have to decide which kind of technique or tool we are going to use whether is artificial neural network neural network that is okay or i have to go for the clustering or i have to go for um, some decision making trees right it depends on you right it depends on data so data science we can say it is data science i would say is the study of data cleansing preparation and analysis while machine learning is a branch of ai rtv ai stands for artificial intelligence and sub field of data science so here is itself this particular you can see here this particular a uh, flow diagram that is showing here is artificial intelligence right that is the bigger concern then under this machine learning right and further this deep learning right where is we are working on artificial neural network etc these are the part of deep learning and when we have to club with maths stats visualization right and eda that will become data science right so data science basically you understand data science means all these things are incorporated and here is i had already given here a distinction between ai versus ml so i said data science means based on strict analytical evidences and deals with structured mm -hmm. and unstructured data i will let you know in the next uh, ppt what is structured and what is unstructured data and includes various data operations here is when we talk about artificial intelligence that imparts human intellect to machines use logic and decision trees includes machine learning but when we talk about machine learning it is a subset of ai 
that means i said in my previous video you have seen which one is the bigger concept artificial learning is a bigger concept than after that machine learning than it is a part of this deep learning so here is it is uses statistical models and machine improves with experience so in this case ai and ml help data scientists to gather data about their competitors in the form of insights and data science involves analysis visualization visualization i had already created number of videos on visualizations in r studio as well as in python also right in the form of the bar chart in the form of histogram in the form of forest forest uh, this thing uh, diagram so i had done so many things and predictions and it uses different statistical techniques while ai implements model to predict future events and make use of algorithm in on this particular artificial intelligence i had already created one uh, playlist and uh, that is artificial neural network and uh, you can share uh, you can you can i will share that would be in the description box and you can go through this how we can predict the stock market with the help of artificial neural network now data analytics can be divided into two part descriptive analytics inferential analytics and predictive analytics and definitely i am going to discuss with you all three descriptive analytics inferential analytics as well as predictive analytics now the most important concern in this video where i would like to focus machine learning that is divided into two parts supervised learning and unsupervised learning supervised learning can be divided into two part classification and regression so i had already created number of things discriminant analysis that video is i had already uploaded on my youtube channel as well as uh, neural networks that is already uploaded on my youtube channel mm -hmm. and uh, so many types of clustering also i had already hierarchical analysis i have done i have shown you right in my this uh, on my youtube channel and uh, my the upcoming video would be on marco model also right so classification when we talk about classification there is so many number of the techniques support vector machine right and uh, discriminant analysis naive bias and uh, nearest neighbor and regression when we talk about svr gpr Uh, here is an assemble methods decision tree random forest right i was talking about some random forest also and neural networks when we talk about clustering clustering here is the a number of techniques k means right and fuzzy c means hierarchical gaussian mixture neural network and hidden marco model so let me i would like to give you just one example of this svr and gpr you can see here svr stands for support vector regression and gp gpr stands for gaussian process regression so both as we are gpr and are memory based methods that store a part of or the entire training data for testing but training is generally fast and they are able to improve the efficiency of the massive training methodology when we are using both these technologies both these models and svr offers excellent generalization ability and robustness to outliers on the other hand when we talk about gpr so gpr approaches non linear regression from a bayesian uh, perspective which produces both the optimal estimated function and the covariance associated with the estimate therefore both svr and gpr as a state of the art non linear regression models are able to offer a performance comparable or potentially superior to that of ann with highly efficient training so i'm sure you understand uh so data analytics in the use of data information technology statistical analysis quantitative methods and mathematical models so data analytics to help to a person to gain improved insight about their business operations and taking better decision so i'm sure this part is little bit i had tried to clear i had tried to uh, tried to uh, clarify i have tried to uh, explain in you detail so i'm sure in the next video i'm i will focus on some more strategies thank you so much keep watching